This is the fourth video of the mini series on how to post the game in Unity. The first video was an introduction. In the second video, we made the script that controls the post system, pressing the escape key or a canvas button would change the post state of the game. And in the previous video, we modified the time scale, which allowed us to post some components like the animator controllers, rigid bodies, or the fixed update functions. In this video, we're going to see how to post the sounds, that is, the audio source components in the scene. I don't want to add too many restrictions on it, so what I'm going to do is, at the moment of posting the game, I'm going to find absolutely all the other source components, I'm going to post them. Then, when we resume the game, we're going to find again those other source components and simply play them again. Here I define an array of other source components, call it audios, and initialize it with the execution of this instruction. This instruction is going to review the hierarchy and return absolutely all the other source components it finds. So now, using a for each loop, I will go through this collection of audio source components and I will execute this instruction. So, for each audio source component A that is inside audios, do this, a.play. That's because this part of the code is executed when the game is resumed. Now for the post region, instead of executing the play method, we're going to execute the post method. Now, when we test the game and press escape or the canvas button, all the audio clips stop playing. 